Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to connect GitHub with Windsurf. So Windsurf is a smart code editor that uses AI to help you write code faster and better. So now I will open the Google search bar and I will type download Windsurf for Windows and I will click the first link and then I will click download for Windows and then I will go down and I will click this one okay. Since I'm using the Windows machine, Windows 11 machine, 64 bit is the architecture. So I will uh, select this one. So since I already have this file in the system, so I'm going to cancel the download process. I'm going to click the exe file, which I have already downloaded. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to click, I accept the agreement, click next. This is where this software is going to be installed in my C directory. I will click next. Okay, click next. Uh, click next and install. And this will start the installation process. Okay, it will take uh, a minute to install. Just wait, be patient and wait until this is done and dusted. So we are done. So now I'm going to click finish. So the moment I will click finish, uh, it will launch uh, the application. And now look, welcome to Windsurf, get started. Okay, start fresh, I will click this. Default, okay, click next. I'm going to choose the dark one. Uh, next, okay, I will log in using my Google account. So I will log in with Google. So I will use my Google account, uh, this account to log in, continue. Okay, now, fine. Open Windsurf application, we are done. Now, I have to open a folder. So now what we are doing is we want to connect to GitHub uh, for that, what I need to do is just go over here, go to the view, go over here and type clone, git clone, the first one. I will click this clone from GitHub. Okay, I will click allow. Then afterwards, copy and continue to GitHub. And here I'm going to provide my username and the password. I will click sign in. Okay, click continue. Now I'm going to give the activation code. So activation code you will get from here, which is this one. Okay. So I will type the activation code 831 uh, B9570. 957D. And I will click continue. Okay. Authorize. We are done. Now I will open the GitHub account. So I already have it. Go to github.com. So my username is this. Okay. Now I'm going to clone the repository. So now what I need to do is just uh, select a repository. So these are the repositories that are there in my GitHub account. So I'm going to pick the first one, Cognos dataset. Let's create a, uh, repository destination so i will clone it in my d directory i will create i will create a folder called cognos dataset okay and select as a repository destination so whatever we have in the uh, repository here so it will be cloned I will click open now everything has been cloned uh, now I will click yes I trust the author now I'm going to do the changes I will do some changes okay now for instance these are the columns like for instance employee ID gender marital status great let me just change this column EMP underscore count let me just change it to count right now if you go over here Cognos dataset. Let me just go to this and just open it. If you see the column uh, EMP underscore count, 
the column name I want to change. So from EMP underscore count, I'm going to change it to only count. That's it. Okay. Now I will do, I will save this file and then I will go to my source control. Go to the source control and do commit and push. So the moment you will do commit and push and just click yes. The changes will be updated in my GitHub. Okay. Now I have to provide the commit message. I have changed the column to I have changed the column to EMP underscore count to count. Okay, save. Now look. So the commit and push operation has been completed. Um, now let me just see whether the changes ha have been done or not. Uh, I will just refresh this or maybe I will go to the repository again and let me just open this and look I think the changes uh, the change has been uh, uh, done in the code in the CSV file and if you see the message yes the message has also been displayed okay so now I hope you have gone through the process of connecting github to uh, this windsurf tool which is a ai driven code editor which helps you to write code which which helps you to to update your code okay it's a very smart code editor i hope you have gone through the process at the end i would request you to please subscribe like and share and give your feedback in the form of comments thank you so much and have a great learning